We have just come to the end of the exploratory works at Corrie Glass, which involved a tunnel of 1.2 kilometres long and various geological testing at various points to determine the quality of the rock for a pump storage scheme. The scale of Corrie Glass is huge. We, we are looking at providing 30 gigawatt hours of storage in our upper reservoir. It involves two large caverns built underground, 120 metres long, 60 metres tall, 20 to 30 metres wide. It's just a, a huge undertaking. The Curry Glass project as a whole involves an enormous scope of underground excavations. It's really important that we understand as much as possible about the geology in the area where we plan to build these enormous caverns. So the Exploratory Works contract gives us valuable data around the rock properties and the way that the ground behaves during the tunnelling process. The information that we've obtained from the tunnelling and the ground investigation underground is going to be used as part of the design process for the main Corrie Glass construction works. SSE Renewables have already invested £100 million in these exploratory works. In order for us to be able to take final investment decision on the project, we need a support mechanism which will be in the form of the cap and floor that allows us to really press ahead and commit to the project. Recently the government have given us a high level overview of the cap and floor mechanism but really we need to move quickly into the detail and understand timelines for consultation and when we'll be able to apply uh, this project into that scheme. The UK energy system needs Corrie Glass because as we go more and more towards a renewable future, a lot of the energy is intermittent. It's not always there when the demand requires it to be there. So having large water batteries such as Corrie Glass helps massively towards a greener future for the UK energy system.